Hi, Gene Burnett from uh, GeneBurnett.com. Um, you know, um, there's some question sometimes about why in, in Tai Chi, um, you know, we, we do such large and big circles. When in application, if you were using them martially or even in daily life, our circles would be much smaller. And um, the obvious answer, that the one that most teachers would give, is that we learn the big circle here so that you can learn about it and see it and grasp it and learn about it because it's so hard to see. Like watch this a couple times. This is just, just doing a big circle here. But check it out. This is what's really going on. I'm just pushing with this leg. The hub is turning a little bit here. I've enlarged that movement with the spokes of my body so that it's, you see this. But when people see this stuff, they think of Tai Chi as waving your hands around because that's what it looks like from a distance if you don't know what you're looking at. If you're not zeroed in and understand what really um, drives a movement, um, you, all you'll see are these big, these big hand move, movements. And um, when I'm doing Tai Chi out here in the park and somebody rides by on their bike or walks by and kind of imitates the movements a little bit, which they'll often do, they'll, and they'll always just wave their hands around. They'll never look at it and go, oh yeah, he's doing Tai Chi. It's always the hands, because that's what's visible. You know, it's understandable, right? Nice big circle, then you can gradually shorten that movement and it can be, boom, you know, like a quick, a quick small strike. Um, same thing with kicks, you know. You can learn a big movement like this, ha, you know. Not a movement you'd do in real life, but when you do the movement in real life, um, you understand it because you've mapped it out, you've seen it where it's big. But here's another benefit from doing large circles and large movements. Even if you're advanced and you understand these movements and you understand the small circles and can do efficient, crisp, short movements, it's still worthwhile to train big movements. It's still worthwhile to, to do these movements, and here's why. When you go to execute the movement for real or in everyday life, you won't be at the edge of your range of motion. And when you're not at the edge of your range of motion, you are less prone to injury. So in other words, if this is the biggest movement I can make, if that's as big as I can do it and still feel that circle, I'm at the edge of my range of motion and I might hurt myself if I really put some force into it. Whereas if I do this, if I can do a movement this big, and train in that regularly so I understand this. But I also train in it smaller and smaller and smaller. So when I do it small, um, I'm nowhere near the edge of range of my motion. If I practice a movement like this, you know, in other words, if I can reach back this far, you know, comfortably, like that, then when I go to reach for something in my cupboard or I go to, you know, reach for something in everyday life with here, I'm not at the edge of my range. Because it's where you're at the edge of your range, it's where you're going to your limit that you're prone to injury. So keep that in mind. Like for instance, you could practice a kick like this. Now realistically, you might not kick that high very often. You might be much more likely to kick like this. Maybe you just step up and kick down low, right? Boom, boom. But if this kick is easy, here, this is easier still. And this is really easy. So if you ever have to do that kick, you're totally within the range of your motion. It's comfortable, it's super easy, you're nowhere near the edge where I am uncomfortable. Up here it's a little, little more, you know, close to that edge. So if I train that, this is a piece of cake. And that way in everyday life, when you go to use this stuff, if you ever have to, certainly you would in everyday physical life, but if you ever had to use it in a fight or anything like that, um, you're much less prone to injury, both in your life and, and martially. So, uh, all right, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of thing, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website, genegonet.com, and have a nice day.